Here's an anonymous question. Hi, folks. Having a bit of a strange issue with one of my end users, which I'm hoping someone can help me with. One of my end users is having an issue when they switch their out of office on. Uh, so it's a, an exchange online Outlook question. Their accounts sends out two auto responses. One is the one that they have set. But they have another one showing for back in December. Hmm. I have checked on their Outlook client on Mac, web app, and mobile, and nothing for this uh, out of office response is showing. I have also logged into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center to check their out of office responses for their account and still doesn't show this response that is being sent out. Really puzzled. Yeah, that is bizarre. That's interesting. It, it I hope is. you still have you still have an out of office response. Ah, there we go. Sorry. You still have an auto office out of office response stuck on the server. Um, <clears throat> It could either be uh, in the responses or in the response templates. Um, I have included a link in the chat, which uh, goes through a long four step process on how to get rid of just exactly that. As to which one of those is going to be required to get done, I'm not really sure, but uh, it involves PowerShell and a few other such things in a couple of cases, so it'll get there. Yeah, the last time I had, it, yeah, the last time yeah, I had that, I did a pro, the profile was corrupted, and I, I did a you know blow away of the kind of the OST and the profile and a few things on the desktop, and did did it through that way as well, and it seemed to kind of resolve it. But you know, yeah, you could, probably have a lot more extensive stuff. There might be other stuff. It was something that was simple as a fix, but yeah, I hadn't gone to the more complex side of things. Yeah, well, that's there is a uh, there's a clean rules and clean reminders, um, and I don't remember which one would be applicable in this particular case. Switch that goes with the Outlook client. Mm. Um, that's uh, command line switches, and there are a number of articles available that, that will provide you with those. One of those may be involved here. Um, the article that I referenced goes into things like MS uh, uh, MS Mappy which is another way of getting into your client and finding hidden things and places that you didn't know existed. Uh, MFC Mappy, excuse me. That's the correct title for it. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, blowing out a profile and replacing it with a new one is certainly a, a good, although a, a kind of a broad-edged sword for getting rid of things like that, provided that it was in the client to start with. Yeah. But uh, that, will, that will cure a whole lot of ills. Hmm. The nuclear option. Uh, for the Outlook client, yes, because uh, that basically <laughs> reduces Outlook to a brand new state. It's like, I don't know a thing. Everything that it knows is in that profile. Gotcha. And if you remove the profile, it's, it's a blank slate. Hi, I'm Outlook. What can I do for you today? <laughs> yep. The science experiment of how long does it take for all the spammers to refill your inbox? <laughs> oh, I'm getting it depends so on whether spammed. you ever use your inbox or not. If you send, if you if you have an email account and you never send out an email, you're never going to get spammed. Uh, there's never going to be an attack made on your on your mailbox credentials for anything to log in because nobody knows you exist. The first time you send out an email, so and so at so and so dot com, you are screwed. Yeah, because <laughs> someone is going to get that email address, and someone is going to go. I want to go and crash that guy. Person. The amount of amount of spam I get now is in crazy insane. You, yeah. Uh, What's well, insane is that how is much it's filtered out. A day. Yeah. Well, that, so that that's the stuff that gets through. And it's amazing to go and look through the logs at what stuff is just automatically blocked. Mm, mm. Indeed. It's just and then still blocked. you'll have people get on the forums and say, yeah, well, I've I've put in 2FA, I've put in a ridiculous password, but they keep trying. Why? How can I make them stop? And the answer mm. is that you, you can't. can't. You cannot yeah. make them stop. All you can do is keep them out. <laughs> mm.